<laughs> well, you, you can remember what drove me no, mad no, about no, you. the other way around. I was, there was nothing wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it terribly well. I really don't. I don't remember being driven We mad. had, I mean, the truth is we did have the most extraordinarily close relationship. We played games with each other on aeroplanes. I mean, I won't bore you with what they were. <laughs> we, played, we imitated different people on aeroplanes. Um, and he was the client and I was the supplier, or the other way around. And we were incredibly rude to each other. And then we broke down in laughing and so on. What drove me mad about Michael was his complete lack of discipline. That, that's it. Total lack, of, <laughs> total lack of self-discipline. That's it. Total disregard for time. That's it. Total disregard for money. Oh, I know Total them well. disregard for other people. Yeah. That's what drove me. Oh, I know, no, no, no. <laughs> give, give us some examples. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give you an example of Michael both at his best and his worst at the same time. Shall I leave at now? At the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so don't leave now because this is this is you will know this and you, we talked about this yesterday. We had, this is in the very early days, and we had a client uh, who was a, they were a paint company, oh, and we had produced guess. some yeah. work. Michael and his team had produced some work, which was of a very, very high quality, and we were presenting the, to the client, and the client liked it very much, and was becoming more and more enthusiastic. <laughs> and I was sitting next to Michael, and Michael started mumbling things like, I don't like it. What do you mean, I don't like it? <laughs> talking about shut up I don't like Michael now it's not good enough it's not right for them and right towards the very end of the meeting Michael said I don't like this work it's not right for you I'm not going to show it to you and you mustn't have it you mustn't take it <laughs> and I went totally berserk it was fine it was apt well, there was nothing wrong with it it was fine in fact as a matter of fact we sold it to somebody else a few weeks later <laughs> And that's also true. And that's also BOC. true, as you know, BOC. Yeah. So the client, slightly baffled, said, OK. And three weeks later, at no extra cost, <laughs> we presented him with another scheme, which Michael this time did like. Graciously, he allowed it to go through. <laughs> and the client was allowed to buy it. So... <laughs> <laughs> And I have to say, that was Michael both at his best and his worst. It was classic. And there were other occasions when he turned up with his holiday snacks to do. a German client. <laughs> instead of the presentation. Fortunately, the German client had a sense of humor, but we, you know. Do you want to hear one more story? This is a nice story, this isn't a nasty story. <laughs> I was with Michael. Michael had bought a new, brand new Mercedes at a time when there were not, and it was a big white Mercedes. And there were not very many Mercedes cars in London at that time. And he was wearing the uniform of somebody like a car mechanic. But of course, being Michael, it had cost God knows how much. No, come on. I know, I've got to interrupt him. The I wore French overalls that right, cost French very overalls, little. which he had specially imported. <laughs> no, yeah. However, so he's driving in this car. And he gets stopped with me in the car. Oh, yes. And he gets stopped by a policeman, on a traffic policeman, because he was driving too fast. Pull over, so he pulled over. So he looked at the policeman, and the policeman looked at Michael, and I'm sitting next to Michael, and he looked at what Michael was wearing. He said, you wouldn't drive it like that if it was yours, would you? <laughs> 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 Yeah, I remember. And Michael said, sorry, officer. <laughs> yeah. I I've got just, millions like that. <laughs> I presume this is just you being you, or did you also feel like there should be some element of, I don't know, performance or theatricality or involved in be, being a designer, being a creative person? You know, um, oh God, I don't really remember. I mean, I think that... Uh, You've got me started. I can think of thousands of them. I think that um, for all of us, really, you know, wh how, what clothes we wear is quite interesting. Um, and so some clothes are to do with looking like other people. You know, I suppose that's called conforming. And some clothes are, are like um, not looking like other people, which is, I suppose is called not conforming. Um, and I was quite interested in, in clothes. I, I still am quite interested in clothes. But at that time, I wore... Um, overalls, yeah, those things that zip, zip up, 
um, because you put them in the washing machine, and, and uh, I, I, quite, I quite liked the feeling of them. Um, so I wore them for a few years, actually. And um, that's it. I think particularly remarkable. So, uh, what about the time you took all the design staff to Regent's Park? I came into the office at about 2.30. Where are they? They all came. Oh, Michael said we should go to the park because the weather's nice. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael came in the building at that moment, pretended it had nothing to do with him. <laughs> yeah, well, I could go on like this forever, but I won't.